when I was younger, I had to design furniture for prisons. I was working for the, uh, the government in the UK. And that was pretty tough because everything had to be considered from, can they use it to kill other people? Can they be killed with it? Can they hang themselves from it? Can they get into it? So, you know, it was totally tough. We could have no handles. Everything had to be recessed. Um, and you still had to kind of make it strong and make it work to a, to a budget. The craziest assignment. I used to design mirrors for, for people for um, for domestic, we worked with a company that designed mirrors, and that was pretty crazy because, um, as I said before about design, that's not what I call design, that is kind of hairdressing, let's say. And um, it was just uh, we, we developed a method of uh, screen printing uh, acid etch onto mirrors and making patterns, and we, we did it and we thought it was great and we did a range but of course the guy came back week after week for new patterns and new shapes. I like designing furniture really, I mean it, it, it sounds crazy but um, the dream project would just to be uh, working with somebody on, on an open-ended basis. Maybe in the same way that Apple have this thing where you can revisit it every version, you can do number four and um, that seems like a dream project. I don't think you should marry technology and furniture, to be quite honest. Um, the main reason being that uh, we've always had this thing that, that, that some people try and put the furniture, put the technology into the furniture, and my view has always been that that shouldn't happen because the technology has a different life cycle and a different speed to furniture. Furniture kind of runs along at a slow rate, technology changes within months. Trends are. Um, I think you get more trends in domestic furniture than you get in office. A thing in the office world that's quite funny that every 20 years something will go back in fashion. I guess if I wanted to change one thing in office spaces it would be that whole thing about you know having to focus on a screen. A lot of companies like Hayworth and various people are, are producing whole, whole walls of screens now that you can work out interactively like a, like a giant iPad on the wall and, and that would be great. You should be able to work the way you want to work at your workstation. The furniture shouldn't dictate how you use it at all. I mean the things I find inspirational in India from a design point of view are, are things like uh, buildings and temples. We don't normally get those. Um, and they're very, very practical, they're very cool, you take your feet off, you take your shoes off and it feels great. It's a, it's a totally different environment than what I'm used to, but it's also very appealing. You see something around the next street, you know, and you think, oh, I'll go, go and have a look at that. And uh, the way the, the, the roofs are often highly decorative, and they're just, it's just something that's kind of alien to your culture, yet when you see it, you can appreciate it. They should have warned me not to eat the char, um, don't drink the water. The thing I find most difficult about India is, is, is looking out the window and, and looking at people who have nothing. You know, I, I, I find that very, very difficult. Well, the pyramids, of course. When you look at the pyramids, you think, how on earth? How on earth? Well, it's just the fact that the pyramid is such a statement, isn't it? They're, they're, they're huge. I mean, obviously, somebody had an idea there and nobody talked him out of it. And uh, look at the, the effort that went into making them. It's unbelievable, isn't it? You have to take everything into consideration. So you, you don't have to be too kind of um, full of yourself. And yet you don't have to be so worried about what other people think. The more people you listen to, the more inputs you get the more difficult it is to actually, you know, think of your own things. It's an interesting one because I hated all the woodwork and stuff at school. I hated doing anything physical. I, I wanted to do other things. I wanted to be a doctor for a while. I wanted to be an archaeologist. I was, um, various people kind of put me off those courses. Um, and I ended up uh, going to art college. And um, I was a sculptor and I made things and yet everything I made 
had a use because I couldn't stand the fact that he would make something just to be looked at. 